Hi everyone, I'm Ling Jun, and this is, these are my teammates Sun Yen, Wai Xiang, and Min Sheng. So today, we are going to present about our mini project title, which are Missile Control System. So before we proceed further, let me introduce you about Missile Control System. What is Missile Control System? The Missile Control System keeps the missile on proper flight path from launcher to target in accordance with signal received from control points, target, or other source of information. The missile control system keeps the missile in the proper flight attitude. So missile control system can be categorized into two broad categories, which are go on to target and go on to location in space. So these are our objective for our mini project, which are understand the purpose of missile control system, able to show the frequency response of given system, able to generate bot plot of the system, and able to calculate phase margin and game margin of the system. So as we can see here, this is our mini project title. A high-performance missile control system needs sophisticated control mechanism. A model of a missile system with a cascaded compensation network GCS is shown above. So, here our process, we have numerator of 40 and denominator of S, S plus 5 and S plus 2. So here is the bot plot of, a, of our missile control system. The upper part here is the magnitude of our bot plot and down here is the face of our bot plot. So there are two, two color lines, blue and red, represent the face margin and gain margin. So this is our Scilab coding. First, here in this line, the numerator was 40. And the denominator is equal to S times S plus 5 times S plus 2. So here, we got our phase margin equal to 15.272026 and our gain margin of 0 0.37366751. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Paul Mingxian. My metric number is one eight one zero two one zero six one. For my part is the plot plot calculation. Based on the figure six, they was given that the value of GS. GS is equal to forty over S times S plus five times S plus two. This is the transfer function for missile control system. By using the value of GS that given in the figure. 6. We need to simplify the denominator to become S times S over A plus 1 times S over B plus 1 to get the number of 0, 4 and their value. After we simplify, we get the number of 0 is 0. Well, they will have 3 poles. They are 0, negative 5 and negative 2. For P1 is equal to 0 at origin. P2 is equal to 5, P3 is equal to 2. Besides that, we also can get the value of K. By using 40 divided by 5 times 2, and the value of K is equal to 4. To draw the gain in the broad plot is 20 log GS is equal to 20 log 4, minus 20 log 1 over x, minus 20 log 1 over x over 5 plus 1, minus 20 log 1 over x over 2 plus 1. Well, to draw the face in the broad plot is angle of gs is equal to angle of 4 minus angle of 1 over x minus angle of 1 over x over 5 plus 1, minus angle of 1 over s over 2 plus 1. Next is to find the value of fixed net and omega m. From side lab simulation, gain cost 
over frequency GCS is equal to 0.373751 degree while phase margin PM is equal to 15.272026 degree. To find the GCS in omega m, we calculate that GCS times 2 points and get the answer is 2.347 radian. From the question mentioned that his margin would be at least 30 degrees, so that we need to do the additional phase margin. To do the additional phase margin, we calculate that 30 degrees minus 15.272026 degrees and the answer is equal to 14.73 degrees. To find the fixed max, we are used that the additional phase margin plus 15 degrees equal to 14.73 degrees plus 15 degrees and the answer is 29.73 degree. For the fixed max, fixed max is equal to sine tau of negative 1, alpha negative 1 over alpha plus 1, and the answer is 29.73 degree. Next, I will pass to my friend to explain furthermore. Thank you. Hi, my name is Teo Sun Yen. My card method number is 18102118183. I will be covering the calculation part, which is to get the phase lead network transfer function. You can see we have choose to design the lead compensator. From the previous presentation, we are know the fig max value is equal to 29.73 degree and the omega m is equal to 2.347 radian per second. With the value of fig max, now we can solve to get the alpha value. The fig max formula is equal inverse sine multiply alpha minus 1 divided by alpha plus 1. And it is also equal to 29.73. Now we can solve the alpha. First, remove the inverse sign to right hand side. It will become sine 29.73 and it is equal to 0 0.496. And then multiply the 0 0.496 with the denominator alpha plus 1. And solve it until get the alpha value which is about 2.968. Now, we have the alpha value and the omega value. We want to find the tau value, so for the omega formula, we is omega m equal to 1 over tau square root alpha. Substitute the value alpha equal to 2.968 into omega m formula and substitute 2.347 for the omega m. And let's sort it until get the tau value which about 0.2473 After we get the value of alpha and tau, it is need to substitute to get the phase lead network transfer function. The formula is GCS equal 1 plus alpha tau s over 1 plus tau s. Replace the value alpha and tau it will be started to become 1 plus 0 0.734s over 1 plus 0.247s. For the transfer function of this control system, it is the compensator multiplied with the process. But in the simulation, the phase margin is only 23.8 degree. It is not achieved the requirement. The requirement is at least 30 degree of the phase margin. For the process block, we know inside that it has the K and GS, the transfer function as K multiply GS. The initial K we assume equal to 1. Because the phase margin below 30 degree, 
now we need to increase the face margin and it is need to moving the crossover frequency to left by reduce again so we need reduce the value k less than 1 until the face margin at least 30 degree the next speaker will prove this by using the simulation in the presentation so that's all my part to design and determine the compensator thanks hi my name is sang wai xiang my matrix number is 181-021-038 I will cover about the simulation part of obtaining the gain cost over frequency and phase margin with at least 30 degrees I've been using a syslab to do the simulation First at all, we need to declare the S become a poly polynomial Then, declare the original numerator equal to 40 and declare the original denominator equal to s multiplied by bracket s plus 5 multiplied by bracket s plus 2. From a previous calculation, we will know that the new numerator is 1 plus 0.734s and the new denominator is 1 plus 0. 247s. After that, we need to multiply the old GS and the new GS into the sixth result. CS equal to six lin bracket C comma six. It means we plot the sixth result in linear continuous form. Show margin will show the diagram of the verb plot and open bracket pm gcf equal to p underscore margin bracket cf will get the result of phase margin and the result of gain cost over margin frequency the phase margin result is 23.816566 and the gain cost over frequency result is 0 0.5463070 however the result of phase margin is less than 30 degree to obtain the phase margin with at least 30 degree we need to reduce the gain of the gs to reduce the gain of the gs we can add a k constant in, at in front of gs assume the k equal to 0 0.8 and multiply it with gs in result the denominator will become 40 multiplied by 0 0.8 equal to 32 so the new denominator is 32 after that we repeat the step, previous step again by changing the original numerator from 40 into 32. So now we can get a new bar plot and also a new phase margin result and a new gain cost over frequency result. The new phase margin result is 32.317210. And the new gain cost over frequency is 0 0.472.8846. Now the phase margin result is more than 30 degree, which obtain our target. By compare the old board plot and the new board plot, we will know that the the phase margin of new board plot is increased compared to the old board plot based on the new board plot we will find that the new board plot is leading the original board plot in conclusion we can know that this is a lead 
humble sector. That's all. Thank you.